It's a quickie. Even in the shadow of the pandemic, and possibly especially in this Zoom era, where even more teachers are using slides to teach, death by PowerPoint is still a very real phenomena. I hope this presentation will help you all learn how to make more effective, efficient, aesthetic slides to use with your students. So here are a few things to look out for. Cause number one. Way too much going on in the slide at the same time. And once again, for good measure. Cause number two. Your audience knows how to read unless you plan to give them these slides instead of listening to you, rather as a resource in itself. And in which case I would question why use slides as opposed to a doc or a PDF. Having so many words on a slide just confuses people and, and offends your audience. They can read. They came to your lesson to listen to you. So getting a slide like this, your audience won't know whether to read or to listen to you. And doing both really will frustrate and annoy. Cause number three. Remember, spelling counts and poor spelling and typos. Just be professional. I even if you are a native English speaker, you could have typos. It's always a good idea to have a colleague give your work a once over before using anything like slides, worksheets, tests, anything you give to students and be sure you align your text appropriately for the language. Cause number four, unwise choice of graphics. Keep your graphics relevant to what you're trying to teach. Let them enhance your point. And do me a favor, save your favorite pictures of your children and grandchildren to use in your Instagram account or your family album. Cause number five, poor color choices. Make sure that the colors that you use are not only pleasing to the eye on the screen, but that they can also be seen clearly on the screen for the font colors. Cause number six, animation overdose. Use animation wisely. Use it to clarify what it is that you're trying to say. Use it to help your audience focus on what you're talking about or what you're showing them to draw attention to something specific as opposed to just making them nauseous. Cause number seven, inconsistency with font styles, sizes, and illegibility. Cause number eight, slide theme inconsistencies. Just because you see a pretty theme, save it for another slideshow. Keep all of your slides using the same theme. Cause number nine, audio abuse. Use audio appropriately. Use it only if it's relevant or if you need to wake your audience up. And cause number 10, treacherous transitions. Using fancy slide transitions, animations, the more is better or any of the other infractions you have suffered through in these past minutes will not make your presentation awesome if your content is not. Thanks for listening and don't forget to subscribe.